animal care workers suffer some of the highest rates of compassion fatigue that are out there. You know, here, and I guess this is a kind of a really interesting segue, is that um, the next step of the what about the others, mm -hmm. okay? Because in researching for my presentation here, uh, one of the things that uh, people may not be aware of, and if they if they aren't, uh, they're they're going to be in about five, ten seconds. There is a phenomenon called STSD. Secondary Trauma Stress Disorder, other words known as compassion fatigue. Okay. Animal care workers suffer some of the highest rates of compassion fatigue that are out there. The similarities between compassion fatigue and post-traumatic stress disorder are eerily the same. Really? And the suicide rates among animal care workers rival police and fire. I wouldn't have guessed that. I had no idea. N I don't think the community at large does because it's not talked about. It's one of those secrets. Wow. Or it's, 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 so guess what? The others, you can add our animal control officers that are stepping into, you know, uh, we, we had sort of, I made a joke earlier, nobody phones the SPCA and says, hey, we had a healthy la lab litter of puppies at the vet today and everybody's well, and we have adoptive homes for all of them and everybody's fine and things are all wonderful, mm -hmm. and why don't you come take a picture of these happy puppies? Yeah. That phone call doesn't happen. No, we talked about this yeah. earlier in, in that uh, we don't know, and I'm saying we because you and I had this dialogue, uh, how our animal cruelty investigators do what they do on a daily basis is beyond me. Ab absolutely, and the fact that they suffer or become susceptible to compassion fatigue or secondary uh, stress uh, or post-traumatic stress um, absolutely would not be a surprise to me that it is happening, that it does happen. So in, in part, uh, you know, I guess I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm very honored and humbled to be at this particular conference because one of the things that can help is that the quicker those officers reach out to get help, the, uh, the, the greater the likelihood of a successful recovery. Uh, so, you know, this, this is, a, and we tell sort of the joke, on, on day two of the military, you learned how to do two things. One was to tie your boots the way they told you. And I was like, why do you tie your boots that way? Because